Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got a really interesting blend for you guys today, so I am i can't wait to, to get into it. Uh, tonight's blend is a green tea from Assam, which is kind of sort of uh, an interesting concept because green, uh, sorry, Assam doesn't really make a whole lot of green teas. This is the first I'm actually hearing of one. Uh, normally they're known for really strong black teas, so tonight's blend is going to be interesting. And the fact that I've never seen a green tea from Assam before. But uh, we'll give it a try. Now, first off the bat, it doesn't look like a typical green tea. It looks a little bit uh, orangey-brownish. Um, it's, it's, hey gamer, welcome. Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, copper-toned. A little bit uh, it's a little bit on the dark side uh, for a green but I mean it's it's still kind of like a greenish tint to it and the scent is really strong green um, but not overpowering this one's gonna be very interesting because Assam is known for its uh, really strong teas and I mean like I usually What's the word I'm looking for? Like the uh, the the tannins in it are are are, are less. Um, I'm I'm just drawing a blank. It's the astringent, astringent. Like the the astringency is not that um, is not that strong normally in Darjeeling, and uh, in Assam it can get pretty strong. Uh, so we're gonna see today how they do with their green teas. Mm, that smells really really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, dive right into this. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. It's really, for a green tea, it's not astringent at all. Uh, normally, uh, there's a slight tinge of astringency to a really strong uh, astringency. So I must have, I must have uh, steeped this perfectly because this one, it, it can handle uh, it can handle itself in the in the warm water. It's really smooth. I have to give it to them. It's really smooth and it goes down really easy. So I don't want I don't want to drink it too fast because I find myself sipping and sipping, and I'm I'm liking what I taste. You know, it has that traditional green tea taste, but um, it's it's pretty smooth, and it's it's kind of like on the side of. Um, oh, we got a swag me for gamer who's not really in the game, but <laughs> I see you, I see you there. Um, it's really smooth. It goes down really easy, and um, it, it's it's got that same kind of traditional green tea taste. Uh, more on the side of gunpowder, but uh, it's it's not as as smoky as gunpowder can get sometimes. There's usually like a little bit of a of, of a smoke to the to the vegetation. In this one, it's not what I thought. I mean, I'm still getting the traditional green tea flavor. But there's kind of like, it's not as strong as I would have expected it to be. Which, I mean, it's a good thing, because I thoroughly enjoy green tea uh, on its own. And this one is surprisingly because it's from Assam. It's, I was expecting more of a stronger, harsher uh, palate. You know, like it would sit there and just, and just kind of like, irk, you know? But this is really smooth. I'll... I'll Give it to them. <laughs> Whoever grew this did a great job. Now you'll see this is kind of sort of uh, traditionally close to a Chinese green tea. You see it's very long leaves, curled. It hasn't been balled like, um, like a gunpowder. Uh, but there's long sticks that just kind of just kind of are there and you'll see there's not much of it ooh yeah I was trying to avoid that there's kind of a 
not much of a difference in there. You'll see, when you open it up, you have that typical bud of the two leaves with the bud in between. It hasn't, this one hasn't opened up completely. This one, let me, but there you go. You have to coax it out a little bit. You see the two leaves and a bud. That's the sign of a good pick. So that's where the, uh, the process comes in. You have the people who pick the leaves and they do it with such precision that, uh, hey pops, welcome. Hey Ma, welcome. See you guys coming in just in time. Um, the the blend is like really, really, is really, really smooth. And I was not expecting this kind of a flavor. And I, oh, this is oh, perfect. I do have it here. I wasn't unprepared this time. I was watching a couple of drops on the, uh, on the, uh, the, the laptop. And it kind of sort of like, it just irked me. I didn't want to let it seep in. Just my thing. Oh. But I'm really like, I'm really struggling to find any kind of, uh, any kind of astringency to it, which is a good thing because I'm not really a big fan of astringency in green tea. While I am a fan of really good green tea in general. Uh, you'll find that green tea has a very specific taste, and this one is really traditional. It's really, um, it's it's really really nice. It's indicative of what green tea should be. This is definitely a high quality leaf, and uh, it was um, it was it was produced very very well. There's a little there's a little leaf that kind of like sticks out. Just to the eye. I don't know if it's the lighting, um, but this one, as you can see, is a little bit lighter than the other one. You can notice it's really actually a a, a, a lighter red, a lighter red, a lighter green than I would have expected. Because this could be this could go a little bit further uh, on the spectrum without becoming an oolong. Like if you're going into the uh, hojicha and dark hojicha realm, um, you'll get a stronger green. Hey Miriam, welcome! Don't forget to swag me. Uh, <laughs> I just saw you pop in. Uh, don't forget to swag me. We are still doing the. Uh, we're collecting entries and getting people uh, entered into the raffle. If I'm affiliated by. Uh, by the time uh, December comes, then we'll be doing a raffle for four prizes. One of them may have to change um, due to a switch in the uh, switch in the suppliers. The mug, unfortunately, uh, I asked about it. They said that currently they need to find a new supplier, so that might need to be changed. And we have a swag me for Miriam, so I'll go ahead and. Get you down for that one. And you are currently in the lead for with four entries. I know, I know, I'm sorry. They do have other cups. Um, I mean, whoever wins, I'll see if they'll if they'll prefer the other the other one, but I don't know. Hopefully by some miracle the uh, the the Core, the the core the couple come back, and oh there we go okay yeah I was not getting any of the um, of of my Facebook messages sorry about that if I missed anything um, Facebook was just giving me some issues but I'm glad I'm I'm seeing the the, the messages come in now hmm. Oh man, that's really smooth. And it, as it's like I, I I brewed this at the same temperature that you really should brew a green tea at about 180 degrees uh, Celsius for three minutes, and I mean like it's it's spot on the way that it sh the, the way that a green tea should taste. 
there's a nice aroma to it as well as the the leaf itself is still dry um, there's kind of a smooth vegetal almost creamy scent to it um, it's it's I normally you're not supposed to use grassy as a um, as a descriptor unless it's actually grassy versus vegetal this one smells like grass in like grass dew if that makes sense you know like when you wake up in the morning and you have a nice uh, big lawn in front of you and it, like the the ground is all moist this is what that smells like and there's also like a woody kind of you know I, I, I take it back this is more like a forest than a grassy field there's something very there's very something very unique in the way that it smells I'm getting a good uh, a nice aroma to it uh, it's full and, and kind of it's kind of bold in its uh, in its scent um, very profound but not overpowering which I'm thoroughly appreciative of um, there are some teas that <laughs> that they get off I'm being really overpowered and I'm kind of sort of thinking about doing one of those next week uh, only because <gasps> oh excuse me not 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 next week the week after because I'm probably gonna take <gasps> Ooh, excuse me take the holiday off we'll see I'm fighting the hiccups sorry mm. Oh, okay, there we go. Hopefully that will satisfy the hiccup, uh, the hiccup monster inside. Uh, well, well, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I'm probably going to take next week off, uh, but the week after I'm thinking about doing something kind of unique and special, uh, and I hope that you guys can join me to, uh, to enjoy it because you'll, you'll get a kick out of it for sure. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> back... Thinking about this green tea, it's it's very it, it feels very natural, you know. There's nothing added to it. Hey, Cap, welcome! Don't forget to swag me. Um, this one's very like it's it's holding on as it cools. It's holding on to its flavor pretty well. Uh, I still have very little to no astringency on my palate. And it's doing a like. It's it's definitely got a, like a long, uh, slow burn, which is usually good for uh, for a good green tea and bad for a badly made green tea. Um, usually, when you have a slow burn on a green tea and the tea is astringent, that taste lingers for quite some time. This one doesn't have it at all. And I'm thoroughly enjoying that aspect of it because I'm always I'm always a little bit hesitant to do a green tea live, uh, only because the astringency tends to throw me off a little bit. But this one so far is holding on pretty well. And there's very little mouthfeel to it. Um it's it's a pretty it's a pretty light watery kind of flavor to it there's nothing that really sits on the tongue um, as far as texture is concerned but the but the flavor is all it, it's sticking and that's for this tea it's really good I'm starting to get a little bit of astringency very very slight as I talk um, and that's probably because it's cooling down on the palate itself so I'm getting that kind of an effect. Uh, normally if I drink it faster, which I do on, uh, when I'm off camera, uh, I would appreciate the, the blend more because I'm drinking it faster and not letting it uh, concentrate or uh, get astringent. And it's still maintaining its, uh, its really nice scent. 
I don't even have to blow it. I, I, it's always every time. It's it's reflex at this point where I blow on the tea because it's like I expect it to be hot. But I mean, at this point, it's a green tea, so it's gonna be brewed at a lower temperature, and it's been sitting for a while, so it's cooling off quite fast. Um, so I mean, it's it's a it's a stupid habit, but like it doesn't really need it. And that's the thing, like. I breathe in and I breathe out and it's got like a really nice tone even like I'm tasting it as I breathe it in it's working out really well I'm gonna do the Thomas taste just to be complete and thorough oh wow that's nice as I breathed out, I got this kind of like minerally taste that was circling around. It was a little bit coppery, a little bit salty, but it still remained smooth. And it's, it's, <laughs> I would thoroughly recommend for people who like green teas, I would thoroughly recommend this. Even for people who don't necessarily like green tea, because this is so smooth and because this is so um, mild in its flavor, I would recommend it for people who are who are just starting. Because it's really, it's, it's, it's good for a beginner. And there's a lot to appreciate it too. Mm. And I love the way that it just like circulates in your mouth as you uh, as you let it go. I don't know if you guys are still commenting. I'm having some issues with Facebook. Um, I'm not getting your, your comments. I'm looking over, <laughs> I can't tell which is which, but. Oh well, it's all good. I just want to make sure. If anybody's still out there, test, test. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Oh, all right. I just wanted to make sure because uh, the way that this opened up, it froze the comments. Uh, nothing in the Twitch chat. Thanks. Appreciate that. I mean, Twitch has been behaving better than Facebook today. Um, but yeah, <laughs> everybody's lurking. Oh, that that's fine. I'll take it. Um, but yeah, like, like I was saying, like, this is, this is a great green tea for beginners. Um, because it's got everything that you're looking for in a green tea. It's very smooth, uh, very light on the palate. Uh, <laughs> dun, 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 exactly. <laughs> it's very light on the palate, very low on the astringency, if at all. Um, and a lot of the time it's astringency that throws people off. You know, they drink it and they get that bitter aftertaste. Um, and sometimes people just need to warm up to it, uh, to appreciate it. I have had a lot of practice <laughs> and, you know, I mean, like, even still, I could taste the, uh, the astringency, but I've learned to tolerate and appreciate it. You know, I mean, there's some astringency where it fits very well. As long as the underlying flavor is there, you get a good, robust experience. But with, you know, if, if the, the, the tea leaf is weak and all you taste is astringency, uh, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't go for a good experience, you know? So I try to, I, I always try to steer people away uh, towards those little things. Again, with the, with the see more, it always give me these huge paragraphs. <laughs> okay, so Assam tea is mostly grown at or near the level, uh, uh, oh, bleh, near sea level, and is known for its body briskness, briskness, malty flavor, and strong bright color. Assam teas, tea blends uh, containing Assam are often sold as breakfast teas. Yeah. And there's more to it that I cannot get. 
oh, there isn't anything more to it. It just said see more, and when I tapped it, it had a period. Which, I appreciate the period for that. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, like it, uh, but that's, that's coming from a black tea perspective. Like I said, the green tea is not uh, typical of a song. And, I mean, like, this is... I'm glad that uh, it's getting... Uh, that different teas are being shipped out from traditional regions uh, because they're exploring their, uh, their, capa their capacities and they are, like, learning. Like, for instance, uh, Darjeeling... What was it? The uh, White Darjeeling? Green Darjeeling or something like that? Um... They refused to call it an oolong because there was no, uh, I think it was white darkling. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was white darkling. Uh, but they wouldn't call it an oolong because there's no traditional, uh, traditionally there is no oolong that comes out of India. Uh, in this one, they're embracing the fact that it's a green tea from Assam. Uh, which shows that, you know, they have more to offer than just the black teas. Uh, and definitely, this is something that can compare with, uh, with Chinese and even some Japanese green teas. Uh, I wouldn't really go too far on the Japanese spectrum, only because Japanese teas are more on the seaweed, uh, stronger green kind of flavor than, than this one. But I would compare it more to a Chinese than a Japanese, for sure. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, questions, comments, anything you want to talk about? Now's the time. Uh, we're going to answer the Teresa question, what would I pair this with? Um, being a normal green tea uh, kind of flavor, I would pair it, uh, pair it with Asian food. Uh, Chinese food specifically, um, because traditionally that's what this kind of tea is uh, is served with. So it's a safe bet, you know. Um, I would give it something light, maybe a, a something against the seafood uh, realm, maybe a uh, shrimp with lobster sauce, which I had last week and it was oh, delicious. I haven't had that in a while. Uh, another fun fact, this tea was cultivated in the valley of Brahmutra. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Uh, of the Bra Bra Brahmutra River. I, I, I'm sure I'm going to catch flack for that later. Uh, an area rich of clay soil and nutrients uh, of the floodplain. That's actually really interesting. Because I can only imagine, that's, that's probably why I'm getting so many minerals, you know? It's uh, smooth, but on, when it cools off, it has like a, a little bit of a minerally kind of flavor to it. And, you know, clay is usually mineral rich. And that's why it maintains that kind of uh, texture. Because of the water and the, and the minerals, and you know, it's, it, it's all compact. So that is actually really interesting. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, what else would I pair this with? Um, I wouldn't go too deep into the dessert realm with this. Um, although I think I could see it with like a vanilla cake or uh, sugar cookies or something like that. I think it'll go pretty well. Um, as long as you don't dip it because... Yeah. Dipping sugar cookies in tea, not not green tea anyway. I I couldn't imagine. Um, yeah, I I, I I would I would make this more of an entree tea than a uh, can I cook with it? Um, I believe so. I mean, you can cook with any tea uh, as long as you're creative. Um, I have had a. Uh, a recipe for a roasted green tea chicken that I am still dying to try. The only thing is, like, the, usually the green tea that I buy is kind of expensive, so I don't want to, uh, I don't want to cook with it. I want to drink it. But this one, yeah, I can, 
if I were, I'm, I'm not going to because, again, I prefer not to cook with the green tea that's uh, expensive. But, oh, I love that. I, I didn't know that uh, you could get the uh, animated GIFs on uh, on Facebook. I, I love those. Oh, no, that's a sticker. Never mind. Animated sticker. I was this close to being right. Uh, but anyway... <laughs> Um, make the chicken and report back. I am not going to make the chicken with this particular tea. I would prefer, um, getting, like, cheap green tea and using that. Uh, same thing with matcha. Like, you use, if you want to use that, it's already powdered. You can, you can cook a lot better with it. Um, but I would use culinary grade cheap stuff. Because you don't want to waste really high-end like let's say fifty dollars for three ounces worth of <laughs> worth of matcha for uh, on a meal you know you'd want to drink it mm. uh, also an announcement I don't have too many announcements today the only one that comes uh, that comes to mind <laughs> is a, uh, a quick word of congratulations to Liz Lee, who won today's drawing. Um, she will be getting a tote bag. We got a swag me. We got swag me number four for Cap. And one, two, three. We got four swag me's for, for Miriam. So you guys are in the lead. Uh, you guys have the best chance so far of winning. Uh, so, awesome. Uh, but yeah, she, she won the, uh, the tote bag, so I will be designing and sending it to her later on today or tomorrow, uh, hopefully, because I've been having, if there is a cup, um, yes, the cup shall be yours, Miriam, if, um, if it's still available, because <laughs> right now you can't get it, but there is another one that is kind of sort of, I mean, like, I like the original one better, um, but it's up to you. Like, if you like the new design, I'll, I'll if you, if you win, and if you, uh, like the new design, otherwise, I'll, I'll have to change, uh, I'll have to change it, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, because, I mean, like, I'm not affiliated yet. I have officially reached three out of four of my, uh, my steps and all I need is 18 more followers and then I am set so hooray uh, but that is where I'm headed and yeah <laughs> that's I think that I mean like all of the I, I'll still be doing the uh, the virtual tea parties on Twitch and on Zoom for the Saturday nights, I will probably not do a Saturday tea party uh, for the next two weeks. I might do it next Saturday during the holiday. We'll see how everything goes. Um, but right now, oh, excuse me. I'm concentrating my efforts on getting followers for Twitch. So if you are not yet following me on Twitch, if you're watching me on Facebook, go to my Twitch. Oh, excuse me. Go to my Twitch channel. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm trying to promote myself, dude. Uh, go to my Twitch channel, hit that follow button, and you'll be uh, entered in as long as you're able to catch me and swag me. Uh, and yeah, that'll be great. Mm. Oh, man. This is, this is like really, really good. Thank you, Sneha, for uh, posting the posting the link. I will also be posting that uh, after the after the stream is done, uh, so that anybody who catches it after hours can join in. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, being affiliated. I'm super close, guys. Super close. Only like 18 followers away, and that is that is not nearly impossible. So uh, yeah. I will continue to stream and have little tea chats here and there. I also am uh, exploring the idea of doing a Stardew Valley uh, game where I make most of my money growing tea. 
I've never played Stardew Valley, although I have watched it and I like the way it goes. I just don't know how I'm going to stream it on Twitch, which you know I'm sure there's a way because I've seen it done. But you know we'll see. Anyway, so I only have about one sip left for those who can see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Questions, comments, now's the time or forever hold your peace. Mm. No astringency at all. Very, no, very, very, very slight astringency on the tip of my tongue. Other than that, there's like like, I have to search to find it. This is actually a really good tea. Highly recommend it. And I will link it in the, uh, in the, uh, in the post after all of this is done. Uh, in the meantime, thanks so much for joining me. This has been a wonderful night. Um, I will see you guys next time. And I'll, I'll keep you posted on my next uh, tea chat on Twitch. Um, I will probably be doing a little something something during one of the week afternoons uh, this week and you know we'll see how it goes okay have a good night ma I will see you next time have a good night everybody else and have a wonderful weekend bye <laughs>